So as you can see, there are a number of panels here, which are images that were generated using the automatic 1111 install of Stable Diffusion and an API from Unity to Stable Diffusion by entering prompts directly into this panel here and or using voice commands. Once you enter your prompt and push the button, an image will be generated and sent back. You can then scale, rotate, and position any way you like. And also, if you're not too fond of the image, you can remove it. Now, I'm going to show you how we're going to create these images. And then we'll, at the, I'm sorry, at the same time, we're going to do a animation con connecting to the forum. And while we're waiting for a deform animation, we will go and create several of these images. Now the deform animation is going to take a little time. What I did is I already set this up so that it's only at the point that 20 frames of animation are created. It's only when 20 frames of animation are created that we'll actually start seeing it show up here in this environment. So until that happens, we'll continue to show this image that we have directly in front. And there might be a little bit of, um, lag and that's just due to the fact that there's a lot going on. I have an RTX 3090, but we're running Stable Diffusion, Deforum, Touch Designer, Unity, and there are a whole bunch of uh, effects like these bubbles, Shadograph, uh, some other effects in the Touch Designer side that are really resource intensive. So um, it's understandable that there'd be a little bit of lag, uh, but for the most part, it works pretty well and uh, you'll see as we start. So here we go. This is gonna kick off an animation that's gonna create another mermaid. Uh, in this case, it's based on a snapshot and a prompt that I hard coded, but going forward will allow the user to put in whatever they like for the uh, deform animation. But for the purposes of this demo, we're just gonna use a hard coded prompt. Okay, so there's a little lag there and you might notice that. Um, I think we're over at this point. So. Right now, the form is creating the animation for us. And uh, while we wait for the animation to come back here to Unity, we're gonna create a couple uh, more images here, uh, continuing with this uh, underwater theme. So I am going to, let's see, uh, let's do, um, let's do, photography. Okay, let's create. Reason uh, I had some trouble there is because uh, I didn't reposition my view and uh, it's, I was actually pushing my screen. Uh, there we go, not too bad. Actually, before we go any further, I'm going to grab my controller and reset my view so I don't run into that problem again. That's a, that's a lot better. Okay. So, uh, as you can see, the uh, mermaid animation is coming in relatively smoothly directly in front of us. Um, what happens is it loops and it's looping now because there are only about 22, 23 frames but it's looping on the touch designer side and hopefully gracefully looping by swapping between two movie file ends. And if you know anything about touch designer, you'll understand uh, exactly what that means. Um, so uh, let's just do a, uh, let's do one more image while we're waiting. And should be a little bit faster now. Again, there's a lot going on. Uh, once, um, that's a weird one. Once the form is done, it'll be easier to create images in Stable Diffusion because obviously less um, demand on the GPU. Not bad, not bad. I, I think I probably would want to redo that animation, but uh, it's not bad for our, our purposes of demoing this system. So, um, one other feature is that if you shut Unity off, open it back up again, all of these panels will be 
will 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 be in the same position, um, rotation and scale as uh, the way you left them in the previous session. So all of this data is stored in persistent data, and also each of these panels contains the prompt information so that you can use that for other purposes um, down the road. One of my future uh, modifications to the system would be to use these like a cassette where you'd plug them into something and then uh, an animation would be, would be, would be um, created in the forum based on the subject of that particular panel. So uh, yeah, I hope uh, this is interesting to you guys. And if uh, anyone wants to see uh, how it was done, and if you're interested in a tutorial, uh, I'd be uh, happy to put something together to show you how I created this in terms of tying the technology together. So please do uh, put that down in the comments below if you want to see more. And uh, that's about it. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when the next part of this tutorial becomes available.